Hello and welcome to Tech Retrospective. I'm Jacob and today I'm going to be opening this lot of complete in-box components for the IBM PS2 Model 30. I'm really excited to get into this uh, because not many of these exist in box state because a lot of times if they went directly to a consumer they are thrown out or if they were often they were sent to manufacturers and sellers uh, who would set up the computers for the home user who didn't really understand all this newfangled computer stuff so they toss them out all the time uh, so these are decently rare uh, so this is the first box we're going to be opening this is the IBM personal system 2 model 30 starter kit and I picked this one to open first because there is actually I don't know how easy it's gonna be to get into focus but it says right on here open this box first so I have to follow the instructions. Uh, these boxes are very blue, quite enjoyable. I'm really enjoying the nice blue color. And, oh wow. Everything looks, uh, just from this initial look here, everything's going to be in really, really high quality, good shape. So we've got some uh, power cables here, exactly the same, just the standard power cable. We have two of them, and they are uh, American, that's important. You could get a UK one, I suppose. Oh no, I've, <laughs> I've flung a disc out of here. Let's, let's put that back in and pretend that didn't happen. So next we have <laughs> this uh, IBM Personal System 2 Model 30 Guide to Operations and Starter Diskette. So we have the starter diskette, which I definitely did not throw and probably break. Uh, and then we have a, like a, a starter guide, uh, a customer response form, technical directory. What's in that? Also, it's like uh, lookups for codes for it. That's quite handy to have, actually. Um, I'm glad we have it. And that's the type of thing you probably aren't going to get if you just buy one of these not complete in box. I'm going to set that to the side and then I'm going to grab out the next thing, which if it's what I hope it is, is going to be very exciting. Okay. Uh, that's how you do it. I'm going to set the outer box off to the side and we're going to take a look at this. This is the part I'm really excited for. I'm pretty sure Oh, yes. Uh, editor, please, like, give me some dramatic music for this. I know no one else really cares, but I do. This is... Oh, we have a beautiful original IBM keyboard. So these keyboards... I'm not sure exactly which model this will come with. Uh, let's see. I'm going to take it to the side. Okay, it is a Model M. Uh, I'm not sure which revision. It's uh, from 84. So this is an original Model M. Generally considered one of the best keyboards ever created. Uh, and keyboard geeks like myself love these things. Uh, and on their own, they're quite expensive. So, And to have one in great condition, you've got the original overlay on top as well. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, it is a little dirty and it's clearly been, oh, that is amazing feeling and the sound of those keys is great. Uh, I've fallen in love with the keyboard. Great. And then you have your uh, cable that goes to the actual computer from it. That's really cool. So that was worth it on its own. But we've got three entire boxes to go through still. Uh, next is the IBM Personal System 2, five and a quarter inch external floppy drive. I'm not sure if uh, this would have come with it originally. I think this would have to be an add-on purchase, not something you'd just get. You'd have to spend a couple extra hundred dollars to add this to your Model 30. want to do so as gently as possible okay 
So uh, I don't know how well it's going to come across on here, but this is a very, here, let me try this. This is a very long floppy drive. I don't think I've ever seen one as long and narrow as this. And it has an incredibly beefy connector to connect to the computer. Uh, that could take quite the beating. Uh, wonderful. And then we have, uh, let's see, the top of it. Ow. The, <laughs> the rubber band on the cable snapped. That hurt. Uh, so you have an incredibly loud, satisfying power switch for it. That's really fun. I do notice it is missing, unless I missed it, no, it is missing its power cable. Luckily it's a nice standard power cable that we still use today, so we've got tons of those lying around. But that is missing from the box, so I'm going to complain a little bit. Okay, next. If I go down here and read, this is the IBM Personal System 2 Monochrome Display 8503. So it is a monochrome monitor. Uh, these would have been very, very common for use in businesses. Uh, also great for like schools, uh, especially since the, the PS2s were designed for networking. So this would be a very, you know, that's not happening. This would be a very common decision for a monitor, though you'd have other options if you wanted a color monitor, uh, for example, even a touchscreen monitor. But, come on. This is just a basic monochrome black and white screen. Ooh. off to the side. There's so much styrofoam off to the side. And there's nothing else in the box, just the monitor itself. Okay, let's turn that around. It, uh, it is very loose on its swivel, probably got banged around a little bit, unfortunately. Uh, swivels, though it's kind of gross feeling. Actually, the entire thing's kind of gross feeling. It's very dusty. Uh, that is an incredibly simple monitor. You don't get any crazy buttons on the front or anything. All you get is, again, a red power switch and gently power input. And I'm guessing CGA for the connector to the computer itself and nothing else. Uh, outside of brightness and contrast, uh, I don't know, sliders, I guess I'd call those. Uh, so you can adjust the display to how bright you might want it. Uh, maybe it's too bright and it's causing eye strain, that kind of thing. Okay. It's a nice, simple monitor. But I got something a little more exciting now. Because it's the last box, and you probably already know what it is given by what's missing here. We've got a monitor, a keyboard. Where's the computer? It's right here. Let's take that, set that down. Grab a, a little bit of extra bits in the box. There's not much. And take that and move it off to the side as well into the pile. And here we go. Some rather basic wrapping. Uh, another power cable, just in case you need another. And here we are, the computer itself. Uh, I like, in general, the look of PS2s. There are a lot of different models in the range. The 30s kind of in the lower end, but not too much. Uh, that power switch is too fun to play with. I should stop. <laughs> uh, it has a sticker on the front. Made. Let's see if I can get that in shot. It says, 
right there. Made in the USA, that's very cool. Oh, uh, you have your floppy disk drive, your 3.5 inch. Uh, you, you know, you use the external one if you have any five and a quarter inches, your very satisfying power switch. And then you have your back, the very beefy fan. And there are some expansion cards already plugged into it. I'm not sure what options uh, were available from the factory or if these were add-in cards later. Uh, I'm guessing that's your graphics card and that I'd, is just a uh, SCSI by the looks of it. I'm not sure. Uh, we can certainly take a look. And I do know that all, uh, or at least most, PS2s come with a networking card standard. So that's what that is. And that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. Uh, we opened a ton of really cool IBM boxes. Uh, I really enjoyed it, and I hope you did too. Uh, please like this video. Comment down below uh, what you'd like us to do now that we've unboxed this. What do you want us to do with it? Do you want us to play some games? Do you want us to try out those networking features? What? Uh, and then, of course, please subscribe and hit that bell for notifications because we've got some really cool videos on retro computers and other tech coming out, so you don't want to miss those. And if you'd like to, you can support us financially uh, on Patreon. That's www.patreon.com newsmakers. And that's all I have for you guys, so see you next time.